Hello guys, Okto here. It's been a while since uh, I've made a video, but uh, with uh, ExileCon ending recently, a week ago, I saw the direction where uh, both games are heading, it seems, and uh, I'm uh, quite uh, fond of the direction they both are going. Hello there, I'm Okto, face reveal, right? And um, what surprised me in Exalcon was uh, the fact that Mark said they are going to make two different games. Last time uh, they talked to us at the first Exalcon, they said they are going to try to merge for one endgame with Po2. But uh, it seems that their scope for Path of Exile 2 changed, got bigger, and uh, they decided to go on the path of making a new game. It seems that uh, at the end of Ultimatum League, they uh, made this uh, choice. Since then, uh, we had some duds. Leagues like Alandra, that uh, were not quite uh, up to par to what we expected, but uh, in the past we also had leagues like uh, Metamorph or uh, Warbands, that uh, weren't quite up to par to the work they usually do. Taking into account most likely that uh, the content for uh, the next year after Ultimatum was uh, already set in place, the Ether and Exarch uh, expansions were most likely worked upon far before uh, the split between the two games and uh, the four leagues that followed after Ultimatum, Expedition, Scourge, Archnem and Sentinel most likely were uh, conceived and worked upon uh, far sooner than the split happened. Sadly, we can see Path of Exile 2 influence before the split decision, Expedition having the attempt of slowing the game down with uh, less damage multiplier on gems, with the flask changes, which surprise we're gonna have in O2. Then uh, the beta test of Arch Nemesis League, which they forced down our throat into Sentinel, and so on. These seem like remnants of the fact that we, we were gonna have a merged endgame when Po2 launched. Since then, uh, it seems they backpedaled a bit on Archnem. It's not, it wasn't that bad after uh, Sentinel. Now I'm gonna speculate a bit about uh, what made them uh, take this decision to split the games. First of all, I think uh, trying to make Po1 each league hindered the Po2 scope since uh, merging uh, the endgame meant uh, merging technical issues uh, and uh, other coding uh, clutter, merging it into a new content, a new game. This uh, brought a lot of limitations, I think, on their end, and uh, they decided it's better to start fresh, better organized, better adapted to current hardware, server-wise and uh, client-wise, and uh, I think this made their decision a lot uh, easier. At first, the experienced staff that uh, went to build a foundation were uh, taken from Po1, then uh, most likely artists to build on that foundation, and uh, more and more people required to, for sound design, uh, for boss design, and so on, leaving uh, bit by bit uh, the Po team uh, without uh, human resources. I'm sure they uh, try to cover the, the workforce whole. But uh, New Zealand, since it's such a small country, population-wise, it's uh, likely that uh, the people they hired took a bit to, to train and to get used to the depth of uh, the Battle of Excel game. Personally, I see a bright future ahead of both games, but this only when uh, Poe 2 is finished. Until then, I'm sure they're gonna, they're gonna scramble to finish it. And uh, with this, we're gonna see strain on uh, Po1 leagues, most likely. But after Po2 launches, we're gonna have a rearrangement of uh, workforce between both games. And uh, besides the fact that uh, we're gonna have more manpower on Po1, we're gonna have a different kind of skill set for the people that come from Po2 to Po1, making it uh, possibly code-wise and mechanics-wise and uh, up to date on current uh, hardware and uh, it will make it a lot richer 
when it comes to the spillover effect from Pro 2. Now let's talk about the most important part, I think, when it comes to making the business decision of having two games, of having uh, two large uh, spikes during the same timeline that in the past usually there was one big spike at league launch. Rotating thing, both games at uh, some weeks, maybe a month and a half apart, will uh, create a more reliable uh, income for GGG. And uh, I think with some time, people that come just because they knew they, it launched Go2, due to the fact that uh, microtransactions and steps are uh, are shared between both games, most likely when the, the Pro 2 League ends, the first ones, people will uh, migrate to Pro 1 at least to try it at first, increasing the player population, in my eyes, at least. This was the reason that made me want to make some uh, new Battle of Excel content. Pro 2 will uh, certainly bring a lot of new people that uh, will need some guidance and information in uh, their path to getting into Pro Endgame and uh, seeing the game or what it could be once you put in the time. With that being said, I hope you enjoyed my rant and see you in the next video. Peace.